Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use ordered logistic regression in Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and load the full auto data set. It's a pretty comprehensive data set of the qualities of cars in Stata and the variables we'd like to check on today are Rep 77, which is repair record, and location of manufacture, which is this called foreign here. So we have domestic and foreign as our two possibilities. In order to do the regression, the ordered logistic regression, let's start with a chi-squared, which is what Stata documentation also recommends. We'll go ahead and do that. And we see that it's significant. So there does seem to be some connection between the uh, origin of the car in terms of manufacturing and its repair record. Now given that, and given that the repair record is ordinal in nature, we have the scope to use an ordered logistic regression, which is simply ologit followed by your or your dependent variable, which is uh, ordered here. Uh, and as you can see, Rep 77 goes from poor, fair, average, good, so it's ordinal. And uh, foreign, as your predictor variable, just type enter. And we see that it is, in fact, uh, significant. And we want to know how to interpret it. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to pull up a notepad so you can actually see you know, how we can take these values here and make sense of them in terms of odds. Now, cut one is basically for poor. So it's, it's, it's the odds that a foreign or a domestic car resulted in a poor repair record. That's what cut one is. And, you know, you can just check these cuts versus the actual ordinal values of the repair record and, and, and do that analysis for any particular slice. What I'm going to demonstrate is, um, again, building on the, the Stata documentation, how you get to the odds for a poor repair record for foreign and domestic cars based on your Ologit procedure. So here's the notepad here. And let's start by noting that foreign has a coefficient which I've gone ahead and represented as 1.46. And since it has this coefficient, domestic has a coefficient of zero. And in a moment, we're going to see how and why that's important. Now here, you can also see the cut point, which is, again, negative 2.77, just about. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get to u of j. okay? And the formula is 1.46 plus u of j is less than or equal to negative 2.77. So then we can set u of j less than or equal to negative 4.23. And now we use the logistic distribution formula, which is 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to the power of 4.23. And this becomes positive here, by the way, not negative. And when we carry out the calculation, we see that the odds are 0.014% for foreign cars. What does that mean? Well, there's a 1.4% chance that a foreign car is going to get a poor repair record. So that's pretty informative. Now we follow the same procedure here with the difference being that there is no coefficient for domestic. Okay, Think of it almost like as a dummy variable in that sense. Because of that, you don't have to insert this number into this formula. It's just u of j is less than or equal to negative 2.77. And so the formula is this. It's 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to the 2.77. And when we calculate that out, it's 0 0.059. So there is a roughly 6% chance that a domestic car is going to have a poor repair record. So that's the way you go from, you know, a couple of things here. You're going to start from a chi-squared table, as Stata recommends, and then you move on to the Ologit procedure. And you generate these cut points. And basically all I've done is I've walked you through what the Stata documentation also illustrates as you know the way of applying Ologit to these data. I hope it was helpful also to see the uh, text to show the formula to go ahead and calculate the odds from the cut points. So that's something you can manually do with each of these cut points. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. 
That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.